Interesting comment here that I want to pose, uh, but more so to Josh than anybody else from iTest, who says, tell me a striker more overrated than Harry Kane. Uh, every other striker in the world. <laughs> like, <laughs> Kane, Kane, come on. Like, the, you, can't, you, can't, you have to put some respect on. For everything that he did today was cross. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you see that ball he put through for Doherty? Obviously, I didn't see it first time, but like, Kane is so much more than what people want to say. Like, uh, he's got injury problems, but if he stays fit this season, he will he'll get the golden boot. Every every he's, season that he stayed fit, he he gets the golden boot. Like his issue in this Jose Mourinho system is man plays number ten more than he plays number nine. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah, and and like I said it in my opening words, and I stand by yeah. this, and I I look at the camera. I know you're not going to watch this, Harry. I know no one you know is going to watch this, but I beg if you come across it. I I'm not saying this through any soul. It doesn't need to be my club. Please, mate. You're one of the greatest English strikers my country has ever produced. I want to see you win trophies. I want to see mm. you, and not just the Carabao Cup, not the Audi Cup, not an FA Cup semi final. I'm talking, you are a Champions League winning, Premier League winning level player. And if you stay at Tottenham under Jose Mourinho, your career is going to end quick, bruv. You've got to get yourself out of there. Victor, I appreciate you coming on, mate. We're going to jump into some more calls. Yeah. Thank you, look, my look, 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 I've He's, got something to say on that. Yeah. Oh, mate. He is um, a little overrated, though. No, oh, shut it, up, Miguel. No, 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 he's not. No, he's no, not. No, one second, one second. No, he's not. No, he's not. Miguel, mate, you why, Miguel, stop. Miguel, stop, stop talking. Miguel, why, in your by opinion, media, is Harry Kane overrated? By media and fans, he's overrated based on the fact that they try to put him in the top echelon of the world. He has done it. He has done it consistently, but he has never won anything. He's never gotten his team to a point where they could win a trophy. Yes, he. they went to a Champions League final, but not with him. Lucas Moura did that, not Kane, okay? So, hang on, hang on, hang on. So Harry Kane wasn't instrumental in earlier rounds that helped get you there. Exactly. No, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is Kane has never actually gotten his team to a point where they're in a winning position to win a major trophy. Igal, yes, that is yes, why, yes. that is why he's so good, because he's been in a poor side. He has been in a poor side. And if he was in, like, say, say he played for Chelsea or he played for, I'm not even going to say United because they ain't been at the races for the past, like, five years or whatever, like, I don't know, City or something like that. I honestly believe that he would perform just as good, maybe better than Aguero in that system or just but as good. Where do you rank him? Where do you yeah, rank him as in the world? I rank him as the best striker in the world. But That's one why second. I say he's overrated because you can't rank him as the best in the world when he's not the best in the world. Igal, no, question. The Igal, question. Question to you, Igal. Before this FA Cup, had Aubameyang won anything with Arsenal before that point? Exactly. No. No, 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 yeah, and, and that's why I'm not saying, saying, I'm saying Aubameyang's number one. This is where you're getting me confused. I'm not, but not everybody thinks, number one. Not everybody thinks that Harry Kane's number one. A lot of Tottenham no. fans will say that, right? And they've got every right to because we like to blow up our players more and do this. Harry yeah. Kane is just spoken about, generally speaking, as being in the same class as some of the best in the world. And I agree. If you put Harry Kane in the City team over the last five years, the Liverpool team, because Harry Kane can ball. He ain't just a, fin he ain't a, a Michael Owen finisher. We saw today that chip passed over the top. If you were to say, if you were to show people Zidane doing that or Burkamp doing that or or KDB doing it, the world will be sitting here in front of their computers, pop, 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 splash. Yeah, it's true. If Harry Kane does it. Everybody ignores it. It was brilliant. Harry, and like I've said, ha that's why I want Harry Kane to leave because I feel like he needs to go to a team that's in a position to win, score the goal, win the trophies, and shut everyone up. Otherwise, he'll retire. He might retire breaking Shearer's goal scoring record. But yeah. we know trophies and people will say, but you never won anything. And the problem with the never winning anything scenario is that you are you are talking about an individual's ability and contributions versus what he does in the team. One of the greatest Premier League players of all time is a man called Matt Letissier. I know no one likes him now for his political views, but as a footballer, Matt Letissier killed it. Look, 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 look at what I've, he won. Very little. Very little. I've, I've got to address I've got to address the the Kane the Kane thing, yeah. As in the you keep saying Kane should leave, yeah. Um the 
funny. This is going to, especially a lot of Tottenham Tottenham fans in the in the one sec. Just we start a GoFundMe to Renato. <laughs> Zane, Zane. Um, look, look, look. A lot of Tottenham fans, especially if they're watching right now, they'll be like, "What are you talking about, Josh?" Yeah. But you see, last season, I had this realization that um, that Kane might go his whole career without winning a trophy. Like he 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 could because it's getting to the point where he's getting older. And he's getting he's injury prone as well. So it's like, whereas Man United a couple of years ago, they might they would have gone, yeah, we'll have Harry Kane. Yeah, like, but but now they might be like, oh, do you know what? Maybe we'll just stick with Martial because at least he's gonna be like a thing the whole season. But wait, one sec, this is my point. I thought to myself, now that the Pochier is done, it might actually be best for everyone involved. I never, I, I don't want Kane to go in it, yeah. But he deserves to win trophies. It might be best for him to go if Tottenham can get a decent manager in. Like after this Jose era, if if Kane hasn't won anything by the time he's like twenty eight, uh, Kane goes. We get one hundred and fifty million and invest that with a new young manager and play some good football because right now Kane's going to be stuck here. He's not winning anything, and it's like. Is is this really what his his legacy is going to be? Do you know what I mean? Exactly. That's all I come down to. He needs to go and he needs to win somewhere elsewhere. We're going to go to Dilly in a minute. Who just joined?